Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today I am bringing you probably one of my last victory crate openings. Now this video was brought to and sponsored by Lolga because without them I wouldn't have been able to get the crates or the keys. So I'm going to play the little Lolga intro clip and as a, sort of a thank you for them sponsoring the video. And then we're going to get straight into the 100 crates and all trade ups. We're going for that chameleon, we've got Stormwatch, we've got Trigon, we've got White Infiniums. We're going for the chameleon, so... Let's do it. Before we do continue this video, I want to give a massive shout out to Loga.com. A lot of you know who they are for sponsoring this video. You can go over to their website, you can buy gift cards for PSN, Steam, and even the Nintendo Switch. They've got a really expansive site with very helpful and responsive live chat. So thank you so much, Loga, for sponsoring the video. You can check their link out in the description. That's going to do it for now. I hope you all enjoy the video. I've got 105 keys and 102 victory crates. I'm just going to open three velocities to start up, and then if anything cool happens, I'll show you. If not, we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, not bad start. Now, I did, uh, I filmed a 50 Crate Wars with Gina earlier today. You would have seen it on the channel. It went, it went alright. She did pretty good. I did okay. And then I did a video. I don't know if you would have seen this or not. It depends what I, I do with it. Um, a video of us just opening. We opened 90 crates together and we were just mucking about. And I think it's going to make quite a funny video. So hopefully I get that. There, were, there was a Mr. Decal, of course, in there that she got uh, and some painted exotics that I got. Uh, but now I'm going to open the rest of my victory crates by myself on my lonesome. It's not going to be fully uncut like my crate openings tend to be when it's a big one because I've done this before. We're just going to try and get some good stuff, some funny moments, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, you've kind of seen all the velocity crates now anyway, so we might as well just skip straight forward. Although what is weird, okay, uh, for some reason, every time I restart my game now, uh, all my camera settings are back to default. My car is default. I'm a rookie rank for a split second and it gives me loads of items. And I have to like remake my car and everything. Like it's as if I've never played the game before, and it's, it's so messed up. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to show you the first two victory crates when we get down to 100, and then we'll do highlights of the 100 from there. It's going to be sick, and uh, yeah, just see how it goes, basically. So hopefully we get something sick. You know, uh, tsunami beam, all good, good for trade ups. Not not too shabby. The trade ups are like they're good. Infinity mills are good, I guess. Really, it's only white ones that. Like, the only exotic you really care about. The main thing we want are black markets, basically. That's what we want in these 100 victory crates, and that's what we're going to try and get today. Yeah, and if you do enjoy these videos, uh, be sure to leave a like on it. You guys leave so much support on these videos, so that's why I've done so many, because thousands upon thousands of you liked the last victory crate opening video, so I really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can get. Watch your Max's stream. Go check him out. Zelix, we're going to be doing a podcast together soon as well, which is sick, so, yeah. All right, okay. Okay, so I'm 10 crates in. Since starting, not a lot has happened. Not a lot has happened. I'm gonna have to keep you updated. It's not great. The stream is good. Not a lot going on right now in the crate department. All right. Normal tune sketch. It's not too bad. We'll keep going. <laughs> With 100 crates, we've got to get like a black market or a painted exotic. Thing is, I just don't really rate the painted exotics. You know, painted infiniums, most of them look kind of cool. Balakara, some of them look all right, but not the best. But really, you want a black market in 100 crates. So come on, Rocket League. Let's sort us out. Tsunami Beam. See the crate after. It's not not too shabby. If it's if you want it to be painted, that'd be decent. But it's not. It's not. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's decent. There we go. Another toon sketch. We're getting some good import luck. I think that's like three imports in the last four or five crates. I think that's pretty good. This certainly is a chill way of making videos for sure. Like, look at that toon sketch. Another import. It's so chill. We're just relaxing, getting these imports ready for the trade ups. At the end. Is this one painted? It's not. But still. Oh, there's some lag. It's going to be a painted Balakara wheel. That looks interesting. A different color. I'll check it out. Um, painted certified. Okay, let's have a cheeky little look at that. The crate luck for these these crates hasn't been too bad. Since the uh, when we got the first 10 out of the way, it's Burnt Sienna Sweeper, which is pretty darn bad color-wise and cert-wise. But hey, we'll keep going. It's not, it's, it's not too bad. I'm just gonna let I'm gonna leave these next three crates down to 75, the first quarter of the hundred in the video. Just see if we can get on a little bit of a roll here. You know, we had quite a few imports recently uh, in the last 10 crates. I think we've had like four or five. We've got the painted exotics that I said. Another bit of lag. A, a titanium white nipple wheel. I'm pretty sure that that is back to back painted wheels. I mean, the titanium white nipple wheels aren't particularly special. Painted certified. Let's have a look at that. You know what we're doing here, boys? This is happening. Acrobat white nipple wheels. I think I've got two. Or one, one other nipper wheel, but we got the we got the white one right there. So there we go. 
Sweet, another white nipple wheel. And it's certified. Can we get another painted wheel? Make it three back-to-back, -back, please. Rocket League. I don't mind that. I don't mind the way you're you're sorting me out right now, you know. We've got two more crates in the video, then I'll get back to the highlight fashion. Uh, so far, not too bad. So let's see what we got coming up right now. And, okay, ripped comic. Not terrible. Not terrible. We'll go with one more. It's crazy, though, with the victory crate. My Was it my 21st crate? I think it was 21st victory crate, so the first crate in my second video after the 20 crate opening, where I got the white infiniums. I knew they were good. I didn't think they'd be that good. Like, they're really valuable, uh, which is super cool. <laughs> um, and there we go. We got the Mosha. It's time to stop. <laughs> we'll go back to highlights. Oh, there we go. Toon sketch. Is it going to be painted this time? Is it going to be painted? It's not, but we'll keep going. Ooh, tsunami beam. Not too shabby. At this rate, we're going to have at least four or five import traders, because they're not painted, any of them, but... We're getting quite a few right now, so this is good stuff. Oh, there was some lag. There's a painted Infinium right there. I didn't even see the lag. I heard it in my ears. And I was like, okay, let's check this out. What color are these bad boys? They look interesting. We've had two two lots of painted exotics already. We're only 40 crates in. Loads of imports too. Saffron. Okay, so we've got white, saffron, pink, orange, blue, or cobalt. So we're getting, you know, we're on the way to that set, baby. I won't feel too you know, determined to get this set. But hey, if it happens in crates, it happens in crates. I'm cool with that. <laughs> oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. We got the Toon Black Market Gold Explosion. Yes, I love that. That's so cool. I wanted that. You know, I'm, I've got Dueling Dragons, which is higher in value, but I'm going to use the Toon for a little bit. There we go. So today al alone, we've got the Trigon and the Toon. Like today is in today filming, like not in this video. But today on my account, I've acquired the Trigon and the Toon. I've already had the Stormwatch. Now it's time to get the most valuable in the last 50 crates, the Chameleon. So there we go. We've had two Painted Exotic Wheels, one Infinium, one Balakara, and a Toon. So this is already looking to be my best victory crate opening. We had White Infiniums and Stormwatch, which is the only thing that compares. So Value-wise, that's good because the white infiniums, but so far, two painted exotics and a black market is good. Let's try and go for the best crate opening I've ever done on the victory crates and make it even better with one more painted exotic or one more black market and really smash it out of the park. So let's do that. And then, of course, we've got trade-ups to do after that. So, you know, we could get another painted infinium, painted balakara, we'll see what happens. It, it's going to be sick. There's a lot of non-painted imports we're getting from this crate opening, which is good because I have, like... Nearly 15 painted imports for the victory crate, so I don't really want to be trading those up. So non-painted imports is fine at this point. Oh, there we go. Werewolf. Let's go. I think that might be the first werewolf of the, of the crate opening, so that's pretty sick. No paint, I don't think, but hey, it looks cool. It looks dope. Oh, there we go. There's some lag. There we go. Another painted exotic wheel this time. Well, oh, well, again, another Balakara wheel. Uh, is it? Is it the same? Did we get the same of... Balakara wheel as before. This is saffron. No, we got burnt sienna before. This this one's much brighter, much better. There we go. So we got two painted exotics. Did, I can't remember. Did we get painted infinium? I don't think we did. Did we? I actually don't remember anymore. I've been sat here doing uh, not a lot. Uh, oh no, we got. Did we get the saffron infinium? I I genuinely can't remember, but I think I think if I remember correctly, uh, we've got a painted. Infinium and two painted Balakara wheels. I think that's what's going down as well as the Toon Black Market. So this is going well. Oh, there we go. Toon Sketch. We've actually really not got that many imports. I don't think in the last few crates, you know, we got the painted exotic wheels, the, the gold explosion, but imports have been lacking. It's weird. So maybe we won't as many, have as many import trade-ups as I originally thought we would, but hey, we've had painted exotics from the crates anyway. So really, we just want these black markets. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Toon Sketch. I looked up there. I just had a feeling we'd get something worth mentioning and we did so we're gonna keep that rolling we're gonna go straight through with another import or above item that's what i'm feeling like it's gonna happen i think i just saw if i if i saw that correctly we're moving into the final quarter of crates now it's been pretty good actually um but you know who knows what's gonna happen next oh it lagged oh there we go a painted werewolf a painted werewolf. it's not like i said painted but we were right on the tune gold explosion there was some fat lag and it it got us a painted werewolf let's have a a little look at what that was it was forest green i don't think i don't have one of those so that's that's sick all right oh there we go we got a mystery universal decal what's it gonna it's chameleon let's go let's go that is it it is officially my best 
victory play opening of all time. I've actually created every single black market item in the victory crate. I know it's been done before. I'm pretty sure Athena did it quite early on, but Athena's Athena, you know. Excluding that, uh, we did it today only. Like, obviously not this video, but in the last 24 hours, or actually the last like five hours of my life, I've added the Trigon, the Tune, and the Chameleon to my account. That is sick. We got the white Infiniums. We got the Stormwatch already. Loads of painted Balakaras, more painted Infiniums. We got the white Tune sketch, the Crimson Tsunami Beam. I'm pretty sure the white Werewolf. I think I can officially say I've completed slash don't want to get any more items from this crate. I've officially done it. There's no need to open any more victories. Every black market, the only insanely high-valued painted exotic, which is the white Infiniums, that most of the highest-valued import boosts and the highest-value painted werewolf. So, I genuinely feel like I've completed the victory crate and I bought just the right amount of crates and keys to do it. How sick is that? I was I was really expecting that to be like. Just a Trigon or a Stormwatch, to be honest. I was not expecting a Chameleon to pop out of that Mystery Decal. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't think you can land on the on the Black Market Decals. I think it has to be a mystery. It's just the, the Black Markets in the crate show you what it's going to be. It's a Black Tsunami Beam. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Oh, my goodness. That looks insane as well. That looks super duper sick. I should have equipped the Chameleon, but there we go. We just got... The Chameleon, the most valuable black mark item in the crate, plus the black Tsunami Beam right next to it. What's the next one going to be? That, that, that's just too much. Okay, Luminous. That's not even that bad. Oh, we're going to get these crates open, do the trade-ups, and then I can officially say that I'm done with the Victory Crate, you know? I've, I've opened enough. I've got everything I want to get from this crate, and not many people can say they've got every black market. The highest valued painted exotic. The highest valued painted import car. You can't say that, or many people can't say that, so it's super cool. I'm glad we've done it. Oh, there's some lag. Nipple wheels. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just texting Gina right now. She's actually asked how I was, and I'm just saying that I opened the final lot of crates, and I got the other two black markers that we were looking for. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Okay. Let's go. There's another tsunami beam. Let's go. What would be really great right now, uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, it might, but realistically, it probably won't, would be an import trade-up to some more titanium white infiniums. That would be... That would be sick, but uh, we're coming into the final 10 soon, and then we'll find out. This has been a sick video, and it's great because, obviously, when I do do uh, 100 cravings, the first one at least, I keep it unedited and stuff like that, but I'm glad I filmed this in a way that will allow me to just edit it down. Uh, it could be a very entertaining, fast-paced for you guys to watch. You can see all the sick items and stuff like that, so, yeah. Let's see how we go for the end part. Oh, there's some lag again. We got some more painted nipper wheels, baby. It's going super well right now. Oh my gosh, so many painted items. 10 crates remaining. This has been, it's been consistently decent throughout. Apart from the first 10 crates, since then it's been like lots of imports. Then we had a break from imports, had loads of painted items, and then the couple black markets. And now we're getting back to painted items and imports. It's just sick. It's a sick time to be alive. <laughs> oh, there's a werewolf. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is sick. <laughs> okay, so the battery on my face cam, it's got zero bars left, so it might not last the whole video. My trade-ups might be face cam-less, but we've got four crates right now, three after this one. This one's going to be a nipple wheel. It's fine. We'll get through. If nothing happens in the crates, you'll be seeing the trade-ups right now. Oh, my gosh. That just happened. The quickest crate of my life. That wasn't sped up at all. Not on my end. That was... That was a game glitch. <laughs> that was a madly quick crate. We'll probably save 10, maybe 9 imports coming from these traits. We'll find out. All Luminous Painted Werewolf. There we go. That's what we do here. That is what we do. All Luminous Painted Werewolf. It just happens. Now we're going to swap it up a little bit. Bam. Painted Certified Tsunami Beam. You know how we do it here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. Okay, now we're going to take the Luminous out of the equation, which probably won't bode well. We're going to do nippers only. I'm, I'm guessing non-painted here. Keep it standard. There's the Toon Sketch. But now we add the painted, uh, not the painted, the Luminous in, but with the Scorer at the front, Playmaker, Scorer, Certified Nippers, all that stuff. We add this. Boom. That's what happens. You get a painted. I, I ain't saying I'm the trade-up king, okay? But everyone else is. <laughs> Let's just have a little look what we got there on that. That uh, little rampage. We got the pink tsunami beam. The black tsunami beam was from a crate. Uh, we, we got a load of good stuff. And then the grey tsunami beam. I don't really know values. So that might not be very good. But when we get painted exotic, it's all fine. 
It's a normal Infinium wheel. We can forget the trade-ups, okay? The very rare to import trade-ups were sick. The crates were sick. The import trade-ups were a bit of a letdown. But either way, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much, Logar, for sponsoring this video and helping me out with the massive amounts of victory crate openings and trade-up videos I've been doing lately. Honestly, guys, I couldn't do it without them. So if you want to check them out in the description, you can do that. And thank you once again to them for sponsoring this video. If you use code PIXEL at checkout, you get a 6% discount off your purchase. But that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome. Awesome, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.